doing. Hey, Kevin L up on set. Just wanted to show you guys real quick in this video a question that has been asked upon me a few times, as a matter of fact. Someone say, Ella, how do you get one keyboard or two keyboards to work with s separate instruments? That's what I'm trying to say. So um, I never knew how to do that. I knew that there was a way, but I was just in here in Studio One playing around in the, the multi-output Contact 5. Now, I'm not really sure if this works with, like, you know, track by track. If you have like a separate instrument on on a track, you know what I'm saying? But I was playing around in contact and I noticed that you can do that where you can set up your MIDI instruments to play certain things. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that on the track itself, it says none. In my case, it's always the LX49, which is what I use right here in front of, in front of me. But, uh, if if that is on and you're trying to do the separate MIDI devices or whatever to correspond with separate instruments within the actual contact five player, then you will have like say for instance if I activate it. Sounds cool though. But that's not what I'm doing, right? So we're gonna say none because I don't want the channel itself to trigger inside of here is where let's go to that piano sound where is it it's always the top so i got my alicia keys then when i click up here so let's say my alicia keys is coming out of uh let's see what channel is it coming out of i can't see the channel that it's coming out of but uh actually it's coming out of channel one right the midi channel one and the uh okay let me show you this right so if we go up here we're going to set channel one which is here and there's there's these are different this this is actually setting your output out so that it can read in the the mixer area but that's not what we're doing so that's the arrow for that but if we go to this other arrow thing here it you you actually can set up everything via MIDI devices. So I just selected my my piano, which is here, and then I went down to uh all the way down here where the string ensemble is, and this is channel six, right? And I made my machine control. You know, I'm just being random right now, and you can set up anything that you have connected to your computer. But I have my machine in. MIDI mode, right? As you, as you can hear, it's triggering the uh, the strings by itself. It's not. Right? Okay. Uh, let's go to staccato and just make it sound a little bit better. Oh, that's too loud. Right? You know what I'm saying? So you saw me do two things at once. Let's see. Right? So the machine could actually be another MIDI device. You know what I mean? And all you have to do is just go up here and, and reroute everything to where you want and just make sure you have, you, you know, you you don't have this activated. And that's that's pretty much what I just stumbled across. I don't know why I didn't figure that out before, but I was just, you know, I'm just in here like trying to route this out. And I'm like, you know what? I need to have this, the string routed out because I want to do something on top of this, but I don't want to necessarily create another instance you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of where I was with that, and I figured that out. So I hope this video was helpful. I had fun creating it as usual. Uh, Till next time, this is Kevin Ellup from ksound.com. Music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture.